Hello everybody. Good morning. Now, it's after one is early hours of money. I just want to make um something clear to the general public with regards to my post. You know what I mean? The intention and how people want to take it or want I'm um, trying to um, put it on is not the way you know what I mean I picture it for myself you get me and I really 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 do want to apologize especially to the Christian community in the whole world that my post of being on the cross was not meant for no provocation was not meant for no disrespecting of being any other side of our faith generally called religiously <laughs> so the misunderstanding and everything that you see on that post it is not you know what i mean instigated by anyone and the blame and the fault is all me but there is a condemnation um the reason i do it or the reason i want to do it i'm not on no side me i'm just an artist you know what i mean i'm 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 just an artist i'm not into that religious conflicts either you voodoo muslim christian or anything you might be or your faith would be i have no problem with that i'm just calling people to salvation that's what i think and deem fit it is and i just do that post to give a christmas present to my sister Christians and my brother Christians that I'm, I'm I'm with you for better and for worst we are muslims it's true if you feel offended by me i'm really really touched and sorry about it for real but yet still you know what i mean when muslims have problem um um terms of our pro, um um our the prophet muhammad by the pagans he sent them to a christian priest for salvation protection so if we don't share the same god you will not deem it fit to be there but the reason of i posting my post or putting it like the way it was pictured what i was just trying to portray it is like you know what i mean i'm calling my kinds to salvation to live the worldly acts which is bad and come to godly i will do the godly acts which is good because i was a bird passing before steal people rob people fight people assault people you know but haters and enemies will will just instigate violent you know I mean they will just post you know I mean something which is not even meant to be and what it meant to be for is not like how you people are seeing it but i have no thing to say just to say i'm down on my knees you know what i mean i was just a bird passing 
So I choose the life of change that I will not steal again. I will not rob people again. I will not starve people again. I will not be an offender. I will not be a disgrace to the youths, especially the human race. You know? But I'm really, really sorry. Seriously. I'm really sorry to the Christian world in the whole world. You have all rights to be annoyed, angry, and all that. But there was a prostitute in Jesus' time. He was ready for change. She was ready for change. When she come and meet Jesus with his disciples or followers having a dinner, the heart was changed. Her heart was totally changed. She was subdued, sorry, ready to repent for her past. Follow Jesus for salvation up to where? Up to where? She has to find her. And she was kicked out. She was disrespected. She was maltreated. The reception was not hospitalic for her. And Jesus was annoyed by that. And tell them, have an open heart. Have a heart of, heart of forgiveness or forgiving for any offender that come to your path. And for now, at this instant, I'm seeing my story like that. As for myself, you get me? The prostitute or the sinner whom they label as a prostitute wiped Jesus' feet with her tears. And she was accepted by Jesus. And the followers has to accept her. So who the hell I am to do something which is not intentionally, intentionally meant to offend and it turns out to be offensive? Who the hell I am to say sorry I am? The bravest man or a brave person is the one who has the guts to offend and to, you know what I mean, apologize. I'm very, 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 very sincerely sorry, man. I didn't meant this. I didn't even deem it fit to be taken like how people are taking it. Well, I will not use that for granted. It should be taken anyhow they take it and put it you know and see it as i just want to really really say sorry i was a bad person man and through this art i feel i can get audience i feel i can get attention to express how i feel depressed how i feel sorry for my past life to express how to be neglected feels how to be carrying a burden on your shoulder feels and how I deem it fit that the same calling of salvation, Jesus was calling his people. But the misunderstood one, you know what I mean, interpret his calling of the pagans to God. When the pagan population was majority, was the majority. And they means in the print. His callings to his um, 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 haters or whatsoever, opposite 
All they gotta do is to crucify him. Yeah, to talk, I'm a Muslim. From mother, father, generation. My every gen, my generation, I'm from the all Muslims. But Jesus is a prophet of Allah. That the same Muslims are worshiping. He's a prophet of Allah that Christians are worshiping. And God says in the Quran, every send, sended prophet of mine is to be obeyed and is to be worshipped and is to be believed. It's left to the mankind to take what he believes or not. But I see Jesus too as my prophet because he is sent by my creator who is Allah. The only difference is my faith and the opposite faith. So I'm not apologizing only Gambia. I'm apologizing because the controversial it brought, it brings. Man, ain't no turning back. If you hurt people without acknowledging it, or without your knowledge, have the guts to stand and say sorry, face the consequences. But even Jesus said, forgive people who seek for it. Call people on salvation. So being that bad person at my past, which I regretted, people of Oh, people that are watching, how viral shared you make that post viral. Please share this video too. Let it reach out. I'm not even going to let 24 hours between this. I was incarcerated for 19 times. The reason I do music today, I will tell you. 19 times I've been... In, I, I, I'm going inside jails, coming out. I have no occupation, man. Officially. I have no monthly wages. And I don't want to go back to the streets and steal. I don't want to go back to the streets and rob. I don't want to go back to the streets and be the bad person I was. I want to go back to the streets of not accepted by both faith of Muslim and Christianity because those acts I was doing was not Islamic. It is not allowed by no religion. Stealing people, robbing people, bleeding people. Hmm? Being a total intoxicant. Intoxicant. I don't want that. Then I feel like a total disgrace to the human race, especially to my fellow youths. The reason I do music or I'm involved in this art is my 19th time being sentenced or being, you know, being convicted. I sit to myself, I say, hey, you can be hard and bad till you became a man. Life have a purpose. Every living thing and every soul must die, man. I'm not godly. I'm not. And it's not even safe for me to die right now with this life I am in. I will be just burned to hell. Then I start, you know what I mean, putting my life on pen and paper. Because this is the only platform, and I know that my problem can be solved by one man 
or one man's audience. But I used to have to use the mic as the only weapon I have to call the chance I got from God and giving chance people to call my mates I left on the street to be a sample to them. To be a sample to my caliber of bird passing on the streets. To be a caliber, to, to be a, a sample to my friends of the same caliber of being bad on the street or pointed with a bad finger on the street or recommended as a jail bad and an ex-con on the street. Recommended as an unappreciated person on the street. That they can all change. They can be more than me or better than me. Hey, I live that dirty life. It's not my will or wish or strength and power. But I was in it but don't like it. Both Christian Muslims are were praying for me. But to be honest, I didn't know. I didn't know which prayers answered or take me off from the street. It could be the Muslim prayers. It could be the um what um the Christian prayers. So I have to respect both faith. I don't even know what I am right now. Sometimes I do pray. Sometimes I don't. It's through music. I live stealing. Through music, I I don't fight and bleed people or people stop me. It's through music. I'm making a legit legit. Fading. It's true music. I'm regaining the love that I lose. It's true music. Or what I'm doing. I'm regaining the respect that I never had. It's true music. That I'm, you know what I mean, rehabbing on myself. It's true music. That I'm appreciate I'm getting appreciation from people who were never appreciating me. And I can blame them too, because I really understand. They can't appreciate me with that dirty attitude. It's through music I'm becoming a human being. It's through this music I'm, getting, I'm, I'm, I'm fitting in the society. It's true, is this through music? Uh, uh, through this music, oh, um, becomes a change. Oh, a life changer for me. That today I will be standing and having a wife. Matrimonially serving God. Of which both Muslims and Christians are worshipping. So G was. So this is how Jesus come to the pagans trying to call them to God trying to call them to be a, to to have chance or to give them a chance that they can repent but they misunderstood him till it's gone now they regretting him So same thing that I want to picture for what the truth Jesus was crucified for and the salvation calls he was calling the pagans to come for salvation and the enemy of salvation, peace and God has to misinterpret his callings to be heard by the supreme leaders of those days you know what I mean, as an offensive, you know what I mean, message or trying to bring an, um, uh, as an, as an, um, treason, you know what I mean, advocation or, you know what I mean, influation onto that pagan world he was, you know what I mean, sent to and was having followers.
That's the reason they crucify him. So I think and sat for myself and think, okay, I was a thief, I was a gangster, I was an intoxicant, I was everything bad, level bad. Now I want, I'm a changed person in me, but I have to make effort to the world to see that I'm changed. That's what Gambia and the Gam music industry fails to give me. Instead, they want to crucify me for the truth I stand for. They want to um, crucify me for the call I'm calling my kinds on the street to leave the badness and come to the good life and ways that I'm enjoying or feeling enjoyed to be shared with them that they have chance. That's the same reason the gun music wanna, you know what I mean, distract my art. So it's like they just wanna silent me for the truth. Or crucify me for the truth. This is what I think. Or this was the thought in my head that comes to me to put this. Feel the gun music industry wants to crucify me for my change and trying to crucify me for my truthful, hardened message that I'm giving out. So I'm really, really touched and sorry my fellow Christian brothers and sisters. You can't just condemn me, man. This is all I got. After this, I got nothing. This is what God gives me. If at all I have to copy or imitate The truth or the cross, cross is to be heard and to be accepted, but not to do the same to me, man. But I didn't mean it for no provocation or disrespecting form, and it is never and will never and no man can ever put that in my head or to influ influence me onto anything that I'm doing now it might be I don't even know what I'm doing when it comes to that post but this was my mind this is the reason I do it Gambia just want to crucify me for the truth and they just want to crucify me for my change. And the second day I was, I'm, 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 I'm released or discharged from my, um, um, my church, uh, my, uh, my conviction. I went to, um, this, this is the first place I went to. I forgot the father's name, or sorry, or the pastor's or the priest's name. I, um, um, Tipa Garage, um, church, the church at Tipa Garage. If you enter the main gate on the left side, the first um, office, I don't remember the um, pastor or the priest's name, but I can remember the office I went to. I didn't go to a mosque or a church. And this has just widened the topic more. Because if you see, I got the guts to face the Christians who are my sister faith. Because even we are in jail, man. 
They will be looking after us. Christmas, they will come. Look after us. They don't even see whether you're Muslim or Christians. You're Christian or a Muslim. They just feel that you are weak and you are needy. And it is their responsible, as Jesus told them, to be doing and looking out for. If you can share that post viral, please share this video viral. Let it be viral too. Don't misinterpret my post. If you see that I get the guts of going now to that priest when I was discharged from jail. It's what the Christian community was doing for me. Honestly, ask every any convent a convict. Christians never leave us behind. They bring their bring us every every feast, either Christmas or uh, Tobaski or 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 or, or Corita feast. All these occasions, they come, give us their support, give us strength. From shoes, boxes, soap, food that we will be eating even. They will cook. So I dare never to test or to provoke any opposite fate of mine. Now, oh, there is no pride here. The only pride is, I'm sorry. I didn't meant to put it how hypocrites are interpreting it to the Christian world. So I'm asking for your forgiveness, especially the Christian world. Allah says, all deeds are judged by intention. This is a servant of God trying to make a living in a legit way. Trying to make a living without being detained. Trying to make a living. I can say yes. Trying to make a living even worth of being Jesus. If I can be Jesus, I'll be Jesus to be living clean. Because those, that part of my past life that I was living was not accepted by the faith I'm really even in, which is Islamic, which is Islam. The life I was living is not accepted by Christians. I was a pagan. I don't go to church, I don't go to mosque, I don't do good. I drink alcohol, drink tablets, smoke weed, rob people, steal people. Man, Gambia and the Muslim world, both Muslim and Christian world, a type like that on a change. Man, aren't you happy for that? Gambia. You just can't condemn me, man. I don't want to go back to jail. And I won't go back to jail. And I won't go back to the street again being that bad person that I was, man. So I'm really, really down on my knees. Total apology, man, to the Christian world. But the concept is like, man, the main reason of I having this mind and thought, me, I don't put mind on my head by myself. Every mind I'm taking or everything I'm doing for now of my this last life is based on reality. I will never lie. I'm God's will from bad to good or trying to be good.
and I will never relent to pave a good way. Even it will cost me my life. How brave I, I was to be an offender and to be recognized as an offender, thief, robber, gangster. I think when it comes to change and being good, I have to be brave, extra, ordinary even, to be a good person and to portray good to the people of my kind I left on the street. So tell me, Gambia, what do you want? Tell me, hypocrites, mis hypocrites misinterpreting my post to the Christian community. I believe in both Muhammad as a prophet of Allah and I believe in Jesus too as a prophet of Allah. All prophets call for salvation. If one has to imitate one to be to have a le legit life, legal living. Is there a crime? To me, no. But maybe yes. Because I don't know much. Yeah, I don't know much. So to the whole Christian community and to the whole world, being Christian or Muslim, Buddhist, Hindu, man, I'm sorry. I'm totally sorry. And I will say, forgive me in the name of Jesus. And if Jesus was present, he will forgive me. Because he will know it is not meant to be how people are taking it. It is not meant to go far as people, how people are taking it far. It is not meant for, no dis, for, dis, for any disrespecting form. It is not meant for any provocate. I'm, I'm safe actions. And this got nothing to do with anyone. This is all about me. By Musa Seka. One pack. I'm really, 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 even one thing. If I carry it tomorrow, can have it in the morning, broad daylight time, to invite the press and to apologize to the Christian world publicly. Now, this country is too small for religious influence or violence. Instigated by who? In fact, me. Who the hell I am? A mere street nigger who is just trying to wipe out the past of bad to good. Come on, man. Come on, man. Just can't condemn me like that, man. It's true, my this change. I'm feeling love that I never felt. It's through my this change. I'm feeling even alive. You just can't take this from me. You can't take this from me, man. Can't condemn this, man. Can't condemn me. Can't take this from me, man. I am what I am. I can't even change it. No man can change that. 
But I'm no more worldly, man. I'm godly. I'm not doing anything to be praised of. But to be a, just be a sample, man. I feel like a messiah. To the birth caliber of my kind in the world that they can change for good. And there is chance and possibilities of change. So to my fellow Christians and sister Christian world, I owe you a lot. The time I was in need, you were there for me. I know freedom 2018. I was matured in jail. My maturity finds me in jail. I slept from juvenile to adult, man. I'm tired of it. I just don't want to go back to that life again. I just don't want to go back to the streets again. Oh, we people who say he, he cowardice his manhood. Ain't no manhood when it comes to religious men. And before anyone will tell me, I deem it fit and see it for myself, it is, you know what I mean? Causing a lot controversial religiously. You get me? And most of my friends that I call friends are Christians. But just still I have good Muslim friends too. So for me, I don't even know what I am. Because I don't go to church, I don't go to mass. I just don't know what's up. It's true what I'm doing, I'm deeming it fit that I'm getting, I'm, I'm befitting in the society. Maybe what was like was the guide. Because sometimes you will think this is right or, you know what I mean, you will not, you know what I mean, think doing certain things will give a heat or uh, would be controversy. And it does. But all I want to just picture, I'm just an artist. I'm not a politician. I'm not a religious fanatic. I'm nothing but an artist who entertain, educate, and advocate, who want to make a good life, who want to die and leave something to be, you know what I mean, talked about, leave, you know what I mean, or copy from to live a good, blessed life. But for now, right now, sorry, big sorry to the Christian world. All I can do is to tell you why was the motive behind this and when I was doing it what was the mindset the mindset was I was like really not wanting to give a chance to be heard really not wanting to be you know Gambia don't want to give me a chance even you know what I mean to be heard I see Gambia and you know what I mean the uh, you know it's crazy you know my people get it I would love to I would love to invite the press a sharp tomorrow talk to the Christian community man just don't want to be I'm just the misunderstood one man but I'm sorry sorry and sorry again I'm a quick learner There ain't no pride here. There ain't no pride here of saying I regret what what happened. You see, I regret what happened. I don't meant to hurt no one. I don't meant. I, the time I was doing this, even I didn't think of. You know, I mean, any religious side effect that will erupt. You know, I mean, or will deem it as an attack or would be attacking you know but see it happens
You know what I mean? I just... You know? So I'm really sorry, man. I'm really sorry. You know? Me, I don't do nothing, you know? That I think was wrong, and it happens to be like this. I'm just apologizing to the Christian world. No other than I owe nobody. I owe the Christian world. And every Christian who deem it fit or see it as an offense, I'm really sorry. Every post of mine that I get and post for myself has been deleted and won't repeat itself. I'm really, 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 really sorry, the Christian world. So my fans, my Christian fans too, I mean, try to just understand, I'm just a servant of both, uh, Allah, and I'm just a virgin in this freedom. My independence in freedom and knowing of freedom is less than three years, man. It's just two years, nine, um, of, um, 19 days today. Oh, 18th, man, to now. November 15th. So I really, really want to say sorry. Really, 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 really sorry. Yeah, man. Whatever comes, man, that's me. It's all on me. It's all on me, man. No? It's all on me. Any bad critics or any negative critics, man, it's all on me. Ain't no no label business about this. Ain't no no um promoters business about this. Ain't no event or venue owner owner's responsibility on this. Every responsibility is on my head. I think I have to man up to face my responsibilities, and then I have to be man enough to say sorry. When my act is often is been deemed as offensive or I've offended anyone. For now this is all I gotta say. After all I got nothing to say, man. I'm sorry for the Christian world. That I've been misinterpreted and misunderstand. The reason I do this was um, they just wanna crucify me for the truth. And for my music. But I will never relent till I'm heard. That's all I got. Mm -hmm. I do it for the reason of change. I do it for being changed. I do it for being heard. Seen. Now I believe in Jesus too. He's a prophet of Allah. Even I'm a Muslim. Every good Muslim believes in Jesus. But, you know what I mean? We have religion here. We have tradition. We have culture. We have norms. But I don't want to go be that jailbird again. And I don't feel complete if I see my mates of that past daughter life still in that life. What should I do now? Because I'm confused. All I can say, you just can't condemn me, man. Mm hmm
just can condemn me, man. I wish to have a press release or press conference about this. Talk to the Christian world. Yeah, man. Mm. It's Gambia. You never know what. They, they, they want to make it up to the Christian world, man. My sister Faith, man. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. This is all my mind, my idea. Everything about this post is all from my head. Honestly, it's all from my head. It's all me, man. And if I told there will be any repercussion, Man, I'm ready to face it. Yeah. But I'm really, really, really sorry. Mm -hmm. The intention was not provoking. The intention was not meant to disrespect. The intention was nothing. But seeing myself as the savior, yeah, now he was calling for salvation, and they, you know what I mean? You know? They just misinterpret him and do what they had to do, or tarnish his image, deform his character. That's what I deem fit that Gambia is trying to portray on me too. So this is what I was trying to put on the picture. You know? I'm really, really sorry, people. I'm really sorry, man. This is just one pack. I think I'm like a very. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry. That's, uh, man, that's... All I can say, man, is I can tear my chest apart and present my heart. I can open my brain and to show you my thoughts about this post. All I'm saying, this was the mind, man. This was the intention, man. Mm -hmm. I don't know how it did, but I'll fight harder. To make it up to the Christian world. But I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, man. Seriously. Being this without this, I owe the Christian world. Because they look after me when I was in jail. And give me courage when I lack, when it was lack. Mm -hmm. They sometimes bring us, you know, it, it doesn't matter, I'm just sorry. Mm -hmm. You know, I just want to be very real on what I'm doing. And for me, I know if I die, one can take something out of my life and live by it and benefit. You know what I mean? For we did here and after. I was a bad person, man. It's just change I'm pursuing. It's just good I'm chasing. The good I lost to the chase. Man, I'm really sorry for the Christian world. Nobody tell me to do what I have to, uh, to do, the post I have did. I don't think if I see and I can read and write for myself, see the comments for myself, that I should be waiting people, you know what I mean, have to come and tell me you have to, nah. I don't take no dictation from nobody. Anything I do, 
good bad is from my own head and i'm really 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 ready to face and take my responsibilities on my acts behaviors and in a mean time that i will be existing because we all gonna die happy for me mad about me we all gonna die to me i have no sin in this because this was my mindset but it could be sinful it might be sinful or not you know I'm really really sorry I'm really, really sorry to the christian world mm -hmm. I think they're just trying to make a legit living if at all from being from islam to to have a legit living man i'm taking it if at all in christi uh, by by you know and from christians i have to earn a legit living i'm taking it but i just don't want to leave dirt again i deserve a chance this thing is really driving me crazy you know I deserve a chance, man. It's through the change. I'm loved by people. Because nobody wants... Before I would say people don't... Yeah. yeah. I'm very really sorry to the Christian world, my fellow brothers and sisters in the Christian faith. I'm sorry, man. I'm really, really sorry. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really sorry, okay? If anybody feel offended with this post, I'm really, really, really apologizing personally to you, one-on-one. -on -one. I'm not looking at what people will be saying. I'm not, you know, just religious, man. I'm not, I'm not right unto no religion, man. Only God knows, man, and only God can judge, man. That's all. That's it. I wish the godly people can understand and the godly will. That's all I got to say. Because that's all I have in my mouth and my mind as for now. That's all, man. For real. Honestly. I. Mm -hmm. Yes, man. To be honest, this, this is all I have to say. Because I read the comments, I know some people are not happy with it. And I need people, I need those people. So I gotta come back and say sorry, because I'm a public servant. Yeah, I'm a public servant, man. And through people, and through good people, giving me a chance that I'm a better person, or I can be a better person, or a good person, man, I'm really, 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 really sorry if you feel offended. Now this last life, don't wanna offend nobody. I would love to be offended, but I don't want to offend nobody. And I would love to be forgiven by the Christian world. In the name of same Jesus, you feel offended. And every good Muslim or a good Christian, any default act him or she has committed, man would apologize. So there is no bold or big here not to say sorry to the people who feel
feel offended in so whatsoever one is one one is doing or trying to be doing. I mean. People take it offensively or misinterpret it. But my mind was on this was I was um was in a mean in a in a you know what I see is like they're just trying to you know I mean crucify me for my truth you know and you know I mean kill me for my music and change I choose to be a good and better person appreciated by both Islam and Christianity. This is my mind. Mm -hmm. I'm really sorry, man. If I can... If I know the ways, I will make it up to you. More than this, and I'm gonna do it. Don't feel big to say sorry when I feel of unacknowledgingly offended someone, especially my opposite right. I'm really sorry. <coughs> Not in for that, man. I'm not in for no disrespect. Well, I can say I'm really sorry. And it is not dictated by anyone. Post was not dictated by anyone. It is all about me. And I'm ready to take any responsibility. Or every responsibility about it. Because this is me, man. This is all I can be. Just a virgin in testing a good life. A virgin to the good life, man. I'm sorry to the Christian world. I don't look no one's eye, man. I don't listen to no man's bad influence onto whatsoever will be offensive, you know me. Because I got no one, I got God. Got God and my mother. With my wife, man. My new wife. That I'm, uh, I'm blessed with. For real. But I'll try to have a press release. You know what I mean? Come out generally and publicly. To show the Christian world that if you are offended by my post, I'm really down. I'm sorry. Because this is where I got Gambia, man. Just can't condemn me, man. For real. Alright, peace. God be with all of you. Thank you very much.